Hart's taking the video here of Acoustic Freeze. Yes. And we were talking with? Mike Despot. Mike Despot. Now, I wanted to talk to you when I noticed you bringing the sign over here. It says, your tax dollars for Zion Bank. Yes. Now, I had some other questions around me tell, you know, my friend told me a little more about what's going on there. Mm -hmm. uh, so Zion's Bank actually took money from the bailout? Uh, not directly. It's that, you know, like anything, it's not quite that clear. Mm -hmm. And so it makes it harder to follow the money. Uh, my understanding is, uh, are you aware of the Zion Bank building that's going up? Or is well, no, I think it's me too. The, the uh, Zion, actually, Ross, there's a Zion's Bank um, headquarters that is going to be built where the Boise Hole was for a while. Oh, that was, uh, that's, yeah. the, that's the latest thing they're putting in the hole, huh? Yes, eighth yeah. and eighth. <laughs> yeah. This one looks like it may go because the taxpayers are helping pay for it. Oh, that's wonderful. And that's part of what that sign is about. Well, that's the thing about it too, quite frankly. Uh, one of the problems I have with any kind of uh, actual monopoly of force is that he forces you to, buy, to pay for something that, mm -hmm. that you don't want. I don't actually care too much uh, to see the Zions Bank not show up there or that right. whole stay the ground and whoever gets there. Mm -hmm. I have a bigger problem with the idea of them to actually taking money from people who may have nothing to do with it. I bank with the uh, NATO Federal Credit Union, for goodness mm -hmm. sakes. That's, you know, my nearest branch is over in Washington State. <laughs> uh, you know. I got a question. Um, okay. uh, what What are your feelings on the uh, issue of Zion's Bank taking uh, tax money? Well, like, like I said, it's not quite that clear. The money's actually, my understanding, is going to the developer, which is uh, a company named something like Gardner. Okay. I'm not sure exactly. We'll look up that up. There. They're yeah. apparently building it, leasing it to Zion's Bank, and then Zion's Bank will get uh, a lower rate for their lease. Plus, at the same time, they're putting up a lot more office space that's not needed currently, and it's going to damage the other property owners that are trying to lease out their office space. And so it's, it's that sort of thing. So the money is indirectly going to Zion's Bank. It's for that building, the Zion Bank building. And it's where, $4 million. Where would you like to see the money spent? Well, one thing, one of the questions that we tried to ask um, the Capital City Development Corporation just a while ago. We had a little action over there in, in their uh, room. They were having a meeting. And one of the questions is why, at least if you're going to be subsidizing, why didn't it include um, like subsidized housing, the low income housing uh, for people? Why, why just give it all to the bank? Why is there nothing for the people? And I'm adding this, ever. It seems like everything the government has done, from on top down to the bottom, when they're giving out money, they're giving it to the people who don't need money. All right. You know, and that's it. pretty aggravating. And it doesn't affect me directly. I mean, I'm retired. I have a good income. You know, I'm doing this for my children and my great-grandchildren and my grand and my grandchildren uh, and for these younger people that, that are here. Uh, they're suffering. It, yeah. The economic system is just screwed up right now. Right, it is uh, the problem of uh, more or less. Oh, I saw a sign there that said that uh, the system. I'm tired of breaking myself for this broken system. No, the system's not really broke. It's it's servicing the people. It's meant to service. Yes. And that's a major key that maybe perhaps there's something wrong with mm -hmm. having everyone else go along. Because I don't really care too much if the people who are getting service are being serviced. And the fact that that that's on the backs of people who can't be serviced or won't be serviced. Mm -hmm. How would you yeah. define? Would you define the uh, current system as capitalism or corporatism? I think it's corporatism right now. Uh, All right. And I know where I'd like to see it is more back to where it was, say, in the mid '40s to uh, the mid '80s, where there was more of a mix of capitalism with socialism, where where the incomes of both the working class and the rich went up somewhat the same, uh, where there wasn't this huge gap of 1% owning 40% of the wealth in the country and 50% of the stock market. I think that's outrageous. That's not how it was. And, and I, for one, I don't want to take money from the rich. I want them to stop getting so much money through these tax subsidies and these lowering of taxes. Wow. Eisenhower, Republican president, they were at 94% for millionaires. Um, Ronald Reagan, 74% for millionaires. Now we're at 35%, that's ridiculous. Yeah, my, my personal point of view, I don't believe taxes are valid anyways. If you really want something you pay for directly and you shouldn't be forced to take to your mind. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I think the income tax is far more worse than anything else because mm -hmm. the tacit point of saying that they earn the, uh, 
own your income more than you own your income mm -hmm. through your labor, or at least being paid for that labor anyways. And um, it's what, what else can you say about a slave? You should be happy with what they leave you? <laughs> well, I guess I'm not necessarily totally opposed to income tax. I mean, I don't well, think we're going to change that system. Well, I think, I think the case, movement has uh, a chance of modifying the system, though, mm -hmm. and making it more equitable. That's all right. I'm looking for, okay. is it to be more equitable. Um, as far as taxing, I, I'd like to see, if we kept income tax, have every single deduction eliminated for everybody on everything. Right. Then it'd be fair. You can lower the tax rate, and everyone would know what they're paying, but they don't want you to know what you're paying. All right. Well, actually, it's kind of interesting that the money's going to the banks, and the banks are getting a lot more of these uh, things. It's actually kind of reminiscent of what's going on in a lot of places in the third world, where in um, where well, people go in there, they actually put, give money to the, to the countries there. They get forced them to take loans, or they give them really get them interested enough to take a lot of loans. Mm -hmm. And then when those countries can no longer pay their debts, they just start their economic uh, basic destruction of the country, essentially. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, kind of what I'm seeing happening now uh, here. Mm -hmm. Got I got a question uh, for yes. you, sir. Um, what, uh, what um, where, where do you think, um, where do you think the uh, country is heading currently? Well, I hope with this movement that it will get strong enough to sustain itself uh, through the winter and next year, and that this movement will help it start moving towards. I think this country is is already at, and it will go deeper into uh, totally corporate control, where everything's for the corporation. Our wages will continue to be suppressed. Our benefits will be taken away, and you'll have basically two classes of people: the haves and the have-nots. We're starting to move towards that. The middle class is dying, and it's got to change. All right. Well, thank uh, you very much for your time. You're welcome. And I got one last question okay. for you, sir. Um, <laughs> Have you seen anything reminiscent of inflation in goods or services that you buy? I can't really answer that because I don't go and buy things. My wife buys them and she complains a bit, but I, I don't. Fair enough, sir. Fair Thank enough. you for Thank your you time. time. Okay. Have a great day. And